Ukrainians will go to the polls this weekend to vote in pre-term parliamentary elections which are designed to produce a parliament reflecting the changes which have taken place in the country over the past tumultuous year of revolution and war. Ahead of Sunday's vote, Ukraine today invited representatives of participating political parties to outline their official positions on the four key themes which currently dominate Ukraine's political agenda. The country's territorial integrity, EU integration, relations with Russia and the fight against corruption. How will your party defend Ukraine's territorial integrity? This is not the deal of the parties or political parties to protect the territory, but of course um, this, is, uh, this is the job of the army and the military forces. Now, uh, moving ahead, uh, the next thing is of course like uh, our Ukrainian army and um, military forces need to be strong to, to be able to protect the territory. Um, we need to eliminate corruption within the Ukrainian army. It's a still uh, old Soviet-style system uh, which does not really work, which is not efficient. And the latest um, actions in the east of Ukraine uh, just are proving that. Um, so the, uh, the army will be strong when the economy is strong. The economy will, will be strong when the, the, there is a, you know, publicity um, in, um, in making reforms. Uh, so this is, uh, well, this is, this is the, the logic uh, behind uh, building up the strong army. How will your party contribute to Ukraine's EU integration? We fully support the integration uh, towards Europe. Uh, Mr. Tegibka, by the way, the chairman of the party, um, uh, used to be one of those who um, uh, who moderated and drafted this, uh, this agreement, which was not lately signed by Yanukovych, but signed by the current president, Mr. Poroshenko. So we fully support this process on the one hand. On the other hand, uh, unfortunately, the government has done nothing to, um, uh, to promote uh, this, um, you know, this new opportunities within the local business community. So the whole bunch of uh, new legislation needs to be adopted. The new regime um, of um, um, manufacturing standards need to be approved and actually accept. Well, the European standard need to be standards needs to be need to be accepted here in Ukraine, and um, there is still a lot of things need to be done in the legislation field. So um, this is uh, this is where we're strong. And this is um, uh, where our, our economists will be contributing a lot. Um, there are many businessmen in our party. Uh, if you take a look at the list, uh, uh, you will not find many politicians, uh, but mostly businessmen. And uh, hopefully it will be really constructive contribution towards European integration. What is your party's vision of future relations with Russia? Well, the fact is that the Russia is aggressor. Uh, the fact is that the Russia has annexed uh, Crimea and uh, is sponsoring um, military actions on the side of the separatists in the east of Ukraine. Uh, so um, we all need to recognize, the whole world needs to recognize this um, on the one hand. On the other hand, uh, Russia is the biggest neighbor and it used to be the biggest trading partner. Um, uh, so physically, uh, we cannot move Ukraine out of this uh, neighborship with Russia. So we need to deal with Russia directly. We need to discuss um, economic issues with Russia directly, um, and um, and you know this dialogue needs to be done in a very uh, transparent way. How will your party contribute to the fight against corruption? Hopefully, the new Rada will be uh, will bring new people. Uh, well, at least in our list of the candidates uh, from uh, strong Ukraine, they are mostly businessmen. Those people who, well, frankly, do not need to steal to, you know, to make the, their livings. They are successful in business. They come to Rada. They want to change things in the country. So the you know, new people are really crucially important to you know to fight corruption.